Well, happy game day morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here and let's wake up the football gods. We're only an hour away of our game day getting kicked off here because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are trying to get on a roll against the resurgent, surprisingly high scoring Seattle Seahawks in Germany. And uh, that we'll be following that up, of course. Well, we're actually going to start our live stream here in an hour, which means I got to get this video done. I got to do some prep work because we're going to do a big chopped cheese steak. Well, chopped cheese. And I should say it's going to be three smaller ones put together to make a big one. And hopefully I did not jinx it because they did not order my big sub for today. But, you know, you got to be able to adapt and overcome when you're talking about football. Now for our Cowboys, we do have a couple of things and a little bit of news here this morning. We'll go into more detail while we're watching the games and things because we got all day long. I'm going to need plenty of coffee, plenty of coffee. But this is why you lift all them weights. This is why you do all that prep. You do that for game day. It all comes down to this, the Dallas Cowboys versus the Green Bay Packers. It's time to step on the roach. Now, Dak Prescott, who's only had three games so far this season, this is his third game since breaking his thumb. The temperature around kickoff is going to be around about 35 degrees, and it's going to get colder. This will be his first cold weather game. And when you start getting your hands cold, you know, those injuries and things, you know, they start to stiffen up and they, they get a little tight and so on. We'll see how he plays in the cold. We'll see if he wears a glove or anything like that. But it will be getting colder. Thank God this is not late January or anything like that. Thank God it's actually still November. Speaking of November, Odell Beckham Jr., who apparently Von Miller had on the phone with the uh, um, GM of the Buffalo Bills, a little how you doing, you know, a little feel you out call, wants to be signed this month, this month. He wants to be in November signed by a team, so things are going to heat up. Allegedly, the Cowboys are looking at speaking with him in the next few days and making him an offer to see if it's an offer he can or cannot refuse. It'll be interesting to see if they bring him here to Dallas, get the doctors to check him out, see how that leg really is, and um, get Jerry Jones to do the sales pitch on him. Also... Zeke Elliott, who has, of course, we had the hyperextended knee. Thank God that his foot was not planted when he got hit because he got hit right on that knee. You saw that knee overextend forward. Um, the swelling is down. He practiced a bit, but there is no guarantee that he's going to play. He's going to test it pregame. And if there's any doubt, if there's any doubt on how the leg is, he will not be playing in this game they look at it and they say we got to live to fight another day we've got three games in 12 days from today we've got the green bay packers we have the minnesota vikings and then on thanksgiving we have the new york stinking giants it's a lot of playing and a lot of wear and tear and you don't want to throw him out here and not have time for him to recover and go on they view this differently than they did last season where they just ran through the PCL where he just became less and less effective. The Cowboys are doing their due diligence to make sure that he is good to go and ready to go and able to go. And I'm actually happy about that. Hopefully we'll end up using more of the 12 personnel. You know how much I love that and being able to help Tony Pollard, who says he can run more than 30 plays. He says he can do that this week more if he has to and get ourselves a win. 
more than anything else, I hope the Cowboys can get out of this game healthy because, again, this is a rough stretch that we're going to be facing uh, over the course of the next 12 days, which really will determine a lot about this season, including if we have any chance to catch the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to listen to Skip and Shannon this morning.